Hey everybody, my name is Alex, and today I'm doing sort of an impromptu video. I've been getting some questions on what I am using for my host management, uh, how I'm utilizing Proxmox for my nodes, and I wanted to go over that, make a video, just to share the knowledge that I've gained on this type of stuff. I am in no uh, way an expert. There are tons of people that know better than I do. I'm purely a hobbyist. I don't do this professionally. So take everything I say with a grain of salt. Ultimately, you know, make whatever decision as far as what you use uh, based on your situation. So this is Termius. It is a host management system. I have it on all of my platforms except for Linux. I use it on Windows and I use it on Mac and I use it on my phone because I can add my hosts and my smeshers, my nodes, all on here, and it will sync across all of my devices. So I don't have to keep entering in the different IP addresses and login information. Everything is saved and synced across my devices. And this is not like production stuff, so I'm not too worried about uh, really anything when I use an application like this. It is a paid application. So let me just bring up the website here. There's a free version, but it looks like you can only do one device, which kind of stinks. Like you don't really need a management, uh, host management system for one device. It looks like they do have unlimited devices for 10 bucks a month. You're really gonna have to make the decision yourself on if it's worth it. I personally love it. I'm 100% positive I at least have the $10 one and it works really well for me. The unlimited devices is really great just because I can put as much as I want. I can group things here so we can see I have my smeshers under here, my nodes over here, and then I have even some other uh, just random hosts that are used for other things inside here that aren't those. So that is what I use for host management. Now what I use for my nodes is a little bit different. Let's bring Chrome back up here, but let's go to my Proxmox virtual environment. So I am using Proxmox. I am new to this. I've only been using it for a couple of uh, day, a couple of weeks, I guess. This is an old super micro motherboard, like an X9. It has, as you can see here, two E5 2650V2s with 32 cores total. And it sh I should have 256 gigabytes of RAM. Maybe I did my math wrong, but it's only showing 220. Uh, that might be a Proxmox thing. That might be I just didn't, maybe some of the pieces of RAM aren't getting picked up. It's an old board. I got it used off eBay. So the fact that it's running this well, I'm, I'm super shocked. Hard disk. I have a one terabyte SSD in here. I have a hundred, it looks like a hundred gigabytes dedicated to the Proxmox installation itself, which I'm sure I don't need. It's only using nine gigabytes, but just in case I left it at the default, then I will just, each time I spin up a VM, so on the left-hand side here, PVE1 is my Proxmox. All of these are different virtual machines I've spun up for my nodes. And I just give them like 32 gigabytes of space for each one. So I'm barely making a dent in my one terabyte SSD, which I got for like 40 bucks or something. It's a crucial one terabyte, like nothing special. I don't need this stuff to be blazing fast because it's just the node. The only thing that I need, I need to be able to finish my poet registration in 12 hours. So I'm just assigning enough resources to each. In fact, let's just jump into like, for instance, this first one here. It is a one terabyte post data node. I have eight CPUs and 16 gigabytes of memory assigned to it with only 32 gigs for the boot disk. And you can see I'm barely using any memory. I could do eight gigabytes of memory if I wanted to. I'm running Ghost Space Mesh. This is a Ubuntu server installation, so I've got no GUI or anything like that. My disk IO, 
I mean, I'm not doing any sort of work with it. It's just waiting for poet registration, network traffic super low, CPU usage is super low. Now, of course, come August 20th, the CPU usage and the disk IO is gonna be slammed for like multiple hours. And I expect that for all of these nodes. I'm hoping I have enough. I'm gonna probably end up with around 12 nodes by the time the 20th comes along. I've got a bunch of smeshers that are just finishing some things up. I'm trying to get all my NVMe drives filled. And then I've got some hard drives, some old hard drives I'm gonna fill as well. But these VMs are great. What's cool is you can even do graphical user interfaces. So I actually have this Node 5. There's nothing on it right now, but it actually is a Linux Ubuntu desktop installation. So if I click into here, this is actually, I could log into it and use it like a normal desktop. And I've just been testing it out. I probably won't run any nodes on this. It really doesn't make sense with Ghost, Ghost Space Mesh being so much more efficient. In fact, if we look at the summary here, um, well, we're not, I, I had it shut down for a couple hours, but the memory usage, this is when I had uh, this, the Space Mesh app going. You can see we're like 3x what a just a ghost base mesh node looks like as far as memory usage, CPU usage. I mean, I was at eight cores and we were running like even more CPU usage than one of the ghost base mesh ones. So really, if you can, it makes sense to just go command line altogether with stuff like Proxmox. It makes it super easy. When I create these nodes, they get assigned actual IP addresses on my network. So then I just go and add them into Termius. And it's super easy to create like a new host. You just put in the IP address and you're able to get that directly from the command line. So for any of these, I can drop into the console if I want to. Oh, sorry, I'm showing you the wrong thing. For any of these, I can click console. And you're not going to see it, but I can drop into the console for just about any of these VMs and get like the IP address or anything that I need. It's probably actually listed somewhere on here what the IP address is. I just don't know enough about it to figure it out. So this is my setup. Uh, like I was saying, it's cool because you can run graphical user interfaces. I could actually have Windows installed on a VM if I wanted to. Anything you can do in a VM, like on your computer, you can do in a VM in Proxmox. I'm not an expert at this though, so I'm sure there's even more you can do. And I'm hoping to, to continue to learn. But that's my setup. I'm going to continue to put nodes on here until I can't anymore. And I will continue to use Termius to log into my different smeshers. So just as like, I don't think I showed it, but just as an example, I could go into here. I could find a smesher, double click it. Actually, X-Ray is not operating right now. It's under some surgery. <laughs> But yeah, I can log in, I can attach to my ongoing session. This is why I use Tmux uh, Smash. And oh, sweet. It looks like I actually finished one of my um, post data. So I need to get back in here and um, finish up what I need to do here. So anyways, this is uh, my setup. If you want to see more videos, like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.